What's up everyone, Alan Morrow here and welcome to the next tutorial in this series where I'll be making a trance track from scratch in Ableton Live. This next video will be all about creating acid sounds and I'll be guiding you through how I do it from the ground up. I'll be showing you how I create acids from scratch using sound design and also different gating techniques you can use to drive your track forward. I'll be covering how to layer your acids to create depth. I'll also be showing you how to use LFOs to create movement in your tracks. I'll be going over the effects I use and the processing involved. And I'll also be explaining the reasons behind every move I make and why. Getting the right sounding acids to suit your track can sometimes be really tricky and if not done correctly, it can sound quite unprofessional. So if you're looking to get better sounding acids for your tracks, be sure to check out this tutorial and the other tutorials in this series at alamorrastudios.com.